Are you having trouble beating pressure in Madden NFL 25? Are you getting sacked and wondering why it's not working out for you? Well, today's video is for you. We're going to teach you how to stop heavy pressure situations. And we're going to do that by looking at one of the most effective blitzes in Madden NFL 25, the Mike Sam 3 seam. And offensively, I want you to choose a package. Uh, you could either have a split slot like this or something with a tight end. Um, you can do either or. Uh, I personally prefer a split package like this. So we're going to look at the play here, and we're just going to look at a simple, uh, easy play like 6-8-9 hook. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to show you first the blitz that, I, uh, that we're talking about. Now the over plus blitz, as most of you know, uh, you just base the line, shift your defensive line to the left, shift your linebackers to the left. You're going to click on to Spencer here, and you're going to move him over one notch, re-blitz him. And then you're going to click on to where here, move him over one notch, and re-blitz him. And then you want to take your left to screen linebacker here, blitz him straight down. Oh, crap. Let me reset these linebackers. I'm sorry. You don't need to shift your linebackers left. I'm sorry. And you're going to hold Sims over the guard. And here you're going to see you're going to get A-gap pressure. Two guys free up the A-gap uh, for a quick sack fumble on Peyton Manning. Now, a lot of people, you know, struggle with this and I complain about this and say this game is glitchy whatever and I'll admit it's very difficult because this blitz is very good it's a DT nano that comes right up the A gap it's very hard to stop but remember if you take a look here you're sitting seven guys at the quarterback in this situation it's just a heavy heavy pressure blitz now obviously if you want to you could zone your middle linebacker because he's not really necessary to the blitz so here we're going to do it without the middle linebacker it only had to send six, but you're still sending a lot of guys at the quarterback. So what we could do to beat this is, first of all, uh, we could set up route combinations to beat this. So, for example, we can use a six, eight, nine hook. This flat route to the right we know is going to be open. So we can easily make quick passes, quick passing concepts like curl flats um, or levels or all those passes that we like to use uh, from our sim tip of the weeks and all of our play breakdowns. So here I'm going to set up a curl flat concept on the right side. And I see, okay, the flat's open quick. i got to get rid of the ball, and I take the quick flats. Now, that's good for me because I can make decent reads, and, and some of you guys can make very fast reads. Not all of you can, so let's show you how to stop this play. What you want to do, and some of you guys may not know how to do this, um, is you can slide protect. What slide protection is is basically you're going to tell your line to, to, to block a certain way. And so what we're going to mainly try to do with slide protection is stop this DT nano. So we're going to hit L1 to activate it. And we're going to hit, uh, flick right on the right analog stick to pinch the line. Um, excuse me, we're going to flick down on the right analog stick so that we pinch the line of scrimmage. And what's going to happen is the A gap that was once coming through the DT is now picked up. And now the only person that comes free on this play is the linebacker and the outside backer. Now, that's great and, and good, but they're still, I mean, remember, they're sitting seven guys. So the odds of us picking that up with five linemen are 0%. So how do we pick it up with, with linemen and our backs so that we don't get touched at all? Well, what we can do is we can block both running backs and pinch our line. And now what you're going to see is everything's going to get picked up. And you're going to have plenty of time to roast this defense that only has three or four guys in coverage because they're sending so many people. Now this is a great concept for you guys to start picking up these DT nanos. Now some easier blitzes that you guys may have struggle, uh, struggle with sometimes is edge pressure. How you pick up edge pressure in Madden 25 is very simple. I'm going to set up a basic edge pressure blitz off of the left edge here. And you're going to see that I'm going to get in and I'm going to send uh, five guys at the quarterback. And I'm going to get one guy free. That's frustrating me on belief, right? What you can do is you could slide protect to that side of the line like so. And then block a halfback. And when you block a halfback, five-man pressure that was once very effective in this game now becomes... Um, obsolete here. So we're going to look at it again, five man pressure, and now it's going to get picked up um, and we're going to have plenty of time to get rid of the ball. Now say they send six guys because uh, people like me like to send two guys free. So they're going to send six guys off the edges and they're going to try to get two guys free at the quarterback. So now you're going to have an extra guy to have to block. Well, what do you do? This is why we like the split formations. You'll either block your tight end or you'll block your extra running back. And now you're going to say you know, you got three wide receivers, three of the best receivers in the game on Denver's team here. And you're going to say, okay, I'm going to try to beat you with my route combinations. I'm going to set up a simple curl flat route combination to the right. And I'm going to set up uh, a little drag underneath. 
and this is a very good concept to beat heavy pressure blitzes and as you see all the pressure is picked up and we get rid of the ball quick Picking up the blitz is one of the most important things you can do for yourself at Madden 25. Start with sliding protecting down and pinching every play. And then what you want to do is you want to progress to blocking halfbacks if you can't pick up the blitz. Once you've blocked two halfbacks, then you may have a real problem. And I suggest trying to call quick screens, quick sweeps to the outside, and um, read option to shut down some of these heavy pressure blitzes. Guys, the best way to counter the blitz is with a good running game, as is in the real NFL. Be sure to be using your running game so that the defensive line cannot be spreading their line every five seconds. Running halfback dives is one of the most easiest and simple ways to neutralize heavy pressure blitzes. Thank you for watching today's video, and I hope this helps you pick up pressure in Madden 25. Be sure to subscribe if you have, uh, an, you know, if you enjoy Madden 25 content on the regular, and if you enjoy. Uh, free breakdowns, free blitzes, and free tips. Uh, I try to pro provide a lot of content. And also, please uh, let your friends know about this video. I know some people are struggling pl picking up pressure in Madden 25, and I hope that this guide can really set the standard and help you guys in Madden 25. Also, real quick, a quick shout-out. Masta Chappie over at MaddenMastermind.com broke down another effective slide protection technique, and you can go check that out on Madden Mastermind's channel. It was in the earlier on in the season, and it talks about one of the easiest things that you can do to pick up pressure in Madden 25. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you guys next week.